Do you feel stressed out in the morning? I know that seems like a silly question. Of course you do. Trying to get yourself dressed, get the kids ready, pack lunches, make breakfast. That's just the beginning of your to-do list. Deborah Stump from Super Moms 360 is here with some time-saving tricks to reduce the morning rush. Deborah, thank you so much for coming in this Thanks, morning. Thanks, Heather. Certainly do appreciate it. Of course. Um, these are practical tips for moms and dads out there that you don't have to have this crazy morning and set your day off wrong. No, exactly. And there's a very few simple things that you can do to just get yourself started on the right track. Number one, and I know you're not going to like this at home, but I, <laughs> I promise don't like you, it. this will help. You need to get up earlier, yes. even if it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes, even 10 minutes earlier. We all know there's things that are going to happen that are unexpected. Kids having a tantrum, you're having a bad hair day, whatever the case may be. Sure. 10 minutes will help you save the stress a little bit later on in the morning. And then you also say, and bless the moms, and Deborah says she does this, <laughs> work do. out in the morning before the kids are awake. If, if you, you can. <laughs> if you can. Yeah. Not you, Heather, because you get up too early already. Yeah. But if you can, it's your time, right? Get up before your significant other, before the kids, and you don't have to go to the gym. You can do backyard boot camp in your backyard. Mm -hmm. You can go for a run, go for a walk, whatever works for you, but you're going to start out feeling accomplished already. And that will be your mood booster for yes. the day. You will at least have like the stress out of you by the yes. time the kids are And I are swear by it. Up. I really do. I don't like getting up earlier, but it, it works. What time do you get up? It depends on the day, but usually about 5.30. Okay, okay. You I win, though. Early. You still win. But, but 5.30, <laughs> it's a little early for me still. Yes, <laughs> I, well, that is early. It's early for most moms, too. Yes. Okay, um, tell us what else we should try to help. Yes, absolutely. Well, so speaking about the workout, so what I try to do also, you know, your hairdresser says don't wash your hair every single day. Mm -hmm. So try to coordinate your hair washings when you're going to be doing a more um, rigorous workout. And on the other days, you can do a nice ponytail, a little headband, something like that to keep it a little more simple for you. So can I give time. a secret that I'm doing right yes. now? Um, I wash my hair at night because I, there is no way I'm getting up even earlier no than way. 2 no in the way. morning. So I do it at night. And then I found this great dry shampoo. I've so you kind of, of put it at the root of your hair, and then it looks like it's freshly washed for the day, and that will save you all that time in the morning of washing and blow drying. That's so, excellent. That's go. another great tip. Perfect. <laughs> and then also makeup. You know, for those of us who like to put just a little bit on in the morning and in a weekday, find things, you know, maybe it's a tinted moisturizer, a little uh, mineral makeup, a nice neutral color palette, so you can just throw it on with whatever you're wearing and get yourself out the door. So that saves you some time so you don't have to overthink, you know, what color am I going to wear and all that good sure. stuff. Sure. Makeup should never you. take you longer than like five or seven minutes Exactly. In the Exactly. So Agree. Simplify it if it's taking too long. Lay your outfit out the night before. I do this every single day and it saves me yes. a lot of time and headache. Yes. And you know, and if you can't get around to doing that, at least try to color code your closet. So maybe all your blues, all your reds, all your purples mm -hmm. are all in one spot, your jeans, your pants, your skirts. So then in the morning, if you are doing the grab, you at least know exactly what you're looking for. Yeah, I so just say lay it out. Yeah. Just be organized. I try to as well, yeah. but I will admit from time to time that just doesn't work out so well. <laughs> so at least you've got a system in your closet that doesn't take too long. Lay the kids' clothes out too. That'll save you some time and it'll be easier for them because then you don't have the argument in the morning of what are they going to wear. And then as far as getting lunches packed, any sneaky ideas? At yes. The same um, time? Get the kids involved. Do it the night before, of course, if you can. But have little boxes in the fridge. This is such a great idea. And let them go and pick, you know, one maybe that's more of a treat and then a healthier snack. They're more likely to eat it if they have helped contribute to the lunch as well. And it's prepared and ready to go when they head out Isn't the door. Isn't that funny? They have a say in it. They're mm -hmm. suddenly more likely to Those do it. Those little controlling little <laughs> creatures little that thinkers. they are. Yes. And then as far as breakfast, you don't have to be scrambling eggs and doing all sorts of stuff in the morning. Make it something that they, if your kids are old enough, they can make themselves. Exactly. And I do this with my kids now. They are old enough. So we have cereal on a shelf that they can reach, milk where they can reach it. If you want to do frozen waffles, fruit, yogurts, things like that. They get up, they get ready, and they can get right to it in the morning. And it's very helpful as well if you have a little chart, if your kids like to have routines, which most kids like to have. Yeah. Have a little chart when that they should brush their teeth, get their clothes on, get their breakfast, things like that. It will keep them on track in the morning. That's perfect. Also, I'm going to throw out another one of my tips. Um, I hard boil a bunch of eggs at the beginning of the week, ah. and then you just grab them out of the fridge, and then your, there's your breakfast yep. for that Yep, and morning. your protein, so. too, because we all know starting with protein is a really good it's way to start the day. Thing. Especially after your workout, right? <laughs> Back to the workout thing. Bless you, the mothers <laughs> who work out in the morning. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Deborah Stum from supermoms360.com. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks Great so idea. Do this morning, certainly do appreciate it.